Hi, this is Franklin Yamamoto with SQL Grease. Today, I will be demonstrating how to find and fix your most impactful deadlocks with SQL Grease. Let's get started by logging in. Next, we'll go to the deadlocks option. We are looking at deadlocks that occurred over the past 24 hours. This date range can be adjusted to go back further in time if necessary. We are going to focus in on the last hour. In order to help identify which deadlocks are most impactful, SQL Grease generates a deadlock cache to group together deadlocks that have a similar signature. You can see this deadlock cache has the most occurrences. We'll start tuning this deadlock first. We'll start by downloading it and opening it in SSMS. A quick look at the deadlock graph shows it is contending for page locks. This is typically the result of scans occurring in the execution plan. Let's use SQL Grease to retrieve the execution plan for the queries involved. Each query involved has a query hash associated with it. Let's click on the query hash to view the details on the query. We are now viewing wait events for one of the queries involved in the deadlock. Down below, you will see the query that was involved in the deadlock. You will notice there is a lot of lock wait occurring in this query. As was mentioned earlier, this query was likely involved in the deadlock due to a scan occurring. There appears to be an index suggestion related to the execution plan. We will look at that next. The index suggestion appears to be for adding an index on the customer test account number column. Let's take a look at the execution plan next and see if the index makes sense. Let's download the execution plan. you can see a scan occurring on customer test. The predicate it's scanning on is for the account number. The suggested index appears to make sense. We'll create the index suggested. While the index is being created, We'll go back to SQL Grease to review the other query involved in the deadlock. This query also appears to spend a large amount of time in lock weight. Note the query is performing an update to the customer test table by account number. Let's look at the execution plan. You can see a scan occurring on customer test. The predicate it's scanning on is for the account number. The index we created for the other query in the deadlock should probably help with this query as well. Let's advance the time forward a bit so we can see what has happened to the update statement as a result of creating the index. Let's look at the execution plan. We now have two execution plans. The new execution plan appears to perform much less I.O. as well as it has much faster response time. The new execution plan appears to be performing an index seek now. You can see the query CPU time has dropped off drastically. There are also no lock weights occurring. Let's look at the average execution time. We can see the average execution time was drastically decreased.
Let's go back and see what impact fixing the scans had on the deadlocks. You can see that no deadlocks have occurred since the index was created at about 1438. So it appears the deadlocks were resolved by fixing the scan. Thank you for watching.